Okay, Daniel, I want you to introduce yourself and then introduce the segment. And the way you introduce the segment is you say, welcome to, or this is, another hot tip off. Okay, got it. I'm Danielle from Wild and Whole, and we are here to give you a hot tip off. That's about... not what I said. What? <laughs> welcome to. Welcome to the hot tip off? No, welcome to another hot tip off. Welcome to another hot tip off. Nice. Okay, Nailed so it. Mark. <laughs> you can go first? Usually, okay. Okay. Is this, this, could, no, this is the first one you've done with us, so I want. Oh, like, okay. So what you do then is you throw to someone. All right. So you'd be like, let it rip, Giannis. Giannis, let it go. My hot tip for the day is, um, I was actually talking to Danielle about this earlier, and I couldn't think of a hot tip. She said, you should t do the hot tip that you told me about earlier. So this is how I came up with this one. But so you we're, know, we're, you've tested it, and you know it's good. Because yes, because well, it's no. stuck in her mind. Yeah, I, I was gonna mention to you and Danielle something you guys should include in the uh, cooking shoot that you guys are doing later today. Okay. So um, we're, we're gonna cook up some heart today, and I feel like a lot of people are always like, "Oh, heart, man! I don't do guts." Mm -hmm. I think that the key is when you're when you're starting in on heart. If you're not a heart uh, user yet, cooker yet. Um, eater of heart is you need to know that it's not guts it's not an i mean i guess it qualifies as an organ but it's not an organ it's, it's just like it's a little not, not two a pound organ. hunk of deer meat well it's muscle though yeah. it's a muscle that's, that's what like, it does it's, it's a muscle so there. my hot tip is to think of the heart as a muscle there has just to like be a, to some just like a tenderloin <laughs> and just like uh the rear ham that's of a group of muscles it's a muscle so think of the heart as a muscle and save it and eat it like muscle. Yeah. Treat it like muscle. Like a steak. That's go. what I do. Okay, my hot tip is this. Uh, everyone knows the thing that happens, like if you don't plan out dinner, like if you eat out of your freezer, um, and then the day gets away from you and you don't plan out dinner, a lot of times it's the pain in the ass and you wind up ordering pizza because you hadn't thawed anything out. A nice advantage of using vacuum bags uh, is that you can thaw stuff quickly and even though I wrap most of my red meat in like plastic wrap and freezer paper just because it's I just like that system and it's durable and stuff keeps a long time the bags you don't gotta worry about the bags getting punctured it is nice to take a few deer steaks or pieces of loin and vac seal them just in a flat vac sealed bag because you can lay that in the cold water and thaw it very quickly and it turns days when you wouldn't be able to go and make any uh, wild game dinner because you didn't plan ahead into you being able to get it going in a hurry. I've even started doing that with ground this year. And it was just because I wanted to try it. Yeah, man. And we ended up you know, doing a pound, but it was thin, right? And I mean, yeah, it takes 10, 10 minutes and you're cooking tacos. I, yeah, one time I did uh, breakfast sausage, turkey breakfast sausage. So like turkey, apple, bacon, breakfast sausage. And put it in envelopes and it wound up being like flatter in your hand uh -huh. and that shit thaws instantly yeah. yeah that's how i freeze everything i try to uh make everything in a flat rectangle so they like and i write across the top so it's like rolodex in my freezer <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they defrost nice. really fast but i also take like three or four packages out of out of time so you don't have to worry so you got your days all planned out. Well, I don't even have it planned out. I just That's the thinking person's way of being ready for that situation. Yeah. So then you don't have to be like, oh, I got to have dinner. I got to defrost it. I just, I just always, here's the goose. Here's the venison. Here's the, something different every night. Anyway, so my hot tip is about making stock. When I started making stock, it always came out cloudy. I couldn't figure out how to get that clear, pretty bone broth. So, started doing some research and a lot of recipes you'll see for stock, they want you to just like throw everything in, keep the skins on, keep the peel, and that actually has a lot of dirt and things that can make your stock a little dirty. So I actually do just gently clean carrots and things just so you're not putting dirt into the stock. But then the other thing Yeah, because they even tell you to throw onion peels and shit. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. everyone's, it's yeah. like, that's the beauty of stock. You just throw everything in. And it's true. That's fine. You can do that. But if you want it to be really clear, I clean my vegetables before I put them in there. And also, I don't stir it. Once it's in, I 
bring it to a gentle simmer, like not a rolling boil, but gentle and don't let it boil really fast because that boiling, all that pressure like keeps pushing the air up and you're like mixing all of those juices. It's agitated. Yeah. You know? So, and then I don't stir it. I keep it really, really low and I leave it alone. I don't mess with it. Um, and that has been really effective for getting a nice pretty stuff. All right, good. Ridge, job. Ridge Pounder, yeah. what are you feeling? I feel like mine was pretty good, Dude, man. I'm it feeling, generated a lot of discussion. <laughs> I'm feeling, both. everybody's really good. I am feeling yours is the best because my life is like constant procrastination. And it's nice to be able to come home and within 10 to 30 minutes be able to cook a meal from a frozen chunk of meat. So but you, because you Danielle's win. never done one before, I think maybe you should pick her. That's what I was what thinking. What if she feels but... discouraged? <laughs> yeah. What if she feels discouraged and doesn't come back? I was thinking that too, but... You have pretty thick skin? Uh, yeah. Like I if I win... I'm actually pretty confident, though. I think that... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I got a way to settle that it. Mine, I got a way to settle yours it. Yours is just like a, hey, guys, this is, this is something to make your life easier. I think there's two levels here. Mine's a... I think your, yours and Yanni's <laughs> falls into like an eater, intermediate cook. Steve's is like a beginner cook. Steve wins beginner. Danielle wins the intermediate level. So you feeling good about that? I feel okay, yeah. yeah. Congrats, guys. I'll think of a better one next Sorry, time. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.